I got the video rolling. That sounds so gross. <laughs> I ain't gonna say what that sounds like. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Greetings and salutations. Um, I, the video is a little bit later than anticipated. Um, things came up per usual, but I did not disappoint. I am wearing makeup, as I said. I didn't get a full beat. Um, it, it got very sweaty in the kitchen. Um, uh, I had to help cook. Which cooking for me, it, help I help prepare the food. And then I had to cut the devil's dick of an onion. And, it, and I'm surprised half my eyeshadow and mascara isn't like, I look like something from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah. But I did do what I said I was going to do. Anyway, we are here for the Witch's Moon standardized box now if y'all are curious those that come to my channel um i don't know if i told y'all before it doesn't come looking like this so if anybody wants to get these boxes they come in another box that is quite discreet it doesn't come just straight looking like this so if anybody is worried that are like wanting to subscribe and you know purchase these subscriptions they're like but i don't want everyone knowing that i'm i'm getting something from the witch's moon Honey, I'd be proud to get it anyway. You know, it ain't no big thing. But if you're worried about that, they are actually completely uh, discreet for y'all. They put it actually in a, a complete, you know, regular brown box. And it just has your postage on it. And that's it. And then you take this bad boy out of it. And no one else sees this. And whoever else is in your household. So you don't have to worry about that. You, if you, you know, are in, you know, a household that is religious, no one else will see this box until you completely take it out in your own privacy. So when you open it, you will get the 10 paper. I already took out the packing noodles because those things are getting on my nerves. Um, even though I know they do that to ensure the, you know, the things so they don't get damaged, but I t I'm gonna start taking them out when I do my videos. Um, I, I get um, in my other boxes, I get packing peanuts, and I call these ones packing noodles because those are the tiny little papers that are kind of like squiggly worms, or I could call them packing worms, but yeah. So I removed everything out of this so we could just get to the good stuff, you know, the meat. And the protein of the box. <laughs> so, yeah. And if anybody's wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes, it's a combination of Illamascus palette, Jeffree Star's nude palette. I am also wearing Lady Gaga's eyeliner. I am wearing um, Better Than Sex mascara. Um, I did have lipstick on, but I decided to eat something because I had to take my penicillin. Um, for my abscess that I still, the knob is still there. I think I'm going to have to get it lanced. <sighs> anyway, I ain't worried about it. I'm a big girl. I'm tough. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that's what I'm wearing here. Mostly of it is Jeffree Star. Um, and actually, I, I also have Natasha Denona. So it's actually a mixture of different eyeshadows that I did. So, um, this is kind of like my normal autumn look that I would do normally. I do like warm, you know, colors and I do like dark colors. So that's what I normally do wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this is kind of like a smoky, like a mid smoky neutral look. Normally I smoke out bigger or I do trios or, um, I'm trying different things. So I liked how this came out. So I want to do a little something extra for y'all since it was my birthday a few days ago. <laughs> so the box is a little different now. So um, it came with this on top, which was really dope. Um, so I know there's been a few of Witch Caskets subscribers that 
complain about certain boxes, which to me, honestly, if you have a problem with the boxes, quit buying them and quit complaining, okay? If you don't like the contents, why the hell are you buying them? End of that subject. <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> Needy.org. <laughs> First thing we have is our rune. Big protection rune. I love it. It is gorgeous. Um, I would normally... Um, I don't tape these down in my book of shadows. Um, I typically leave them loose. Um, because typically... I, I want to leave them loose just in case I need to trace them. So if I want to put them on different parts of a new home, like if it's a certain sigil that I want, I know exactly where I want to put it at and I can recopy it. If it's in my book of shadows, yeah, I can recopy it, but then I'm going to have to mark down exactly which sigil it is, which I can do it on the back of this anyway. But I like leaving it loose like this. And one of my other um, books just kind of like leave it where I can just slip it in and out and trace it. Um, next thing we got is the Watchful Winds. And this is um, the artwork. And I do believe the spell is by G. Ibis, which a lot of our stuff is by him or the other artists that we have. Which, this is actually really, really, really gorgeous. G. Ibis is, he's fantastic. Um, him and um, A.E. Alden, I love a lot of their work that they do for the Witch's Moon. They do absolutely stunning work. Next, we have Eros, which is, let me take this off. I'm not even going to try to show you with the sheen on. The cover because that would be annoying. So she looks like this. And she actually happens to be um, the goddess of the east wind. And it actually goes over all the like different things dealing with the east wind. And like what you can do as gifts. The keeper of the east wind. The symbol. And it gives you a lot of different information. So these are definitely things that would go in your book of shadow that I would figure would be excellent pieces to put in there. So yes, this is definitely one of my book of shadow and it is getting so thick right now. So yes. Next piece. This is Zephyros. And this one is the West Wind. She is stunning. So this box is um, pretty much symbolizing all of November Wind. So that's the whole entire circleization is dealing with wind. You can kind of already tell the feel of it. So there's only... The first few things, you can kind of get a hunch of what it's going to be dealing with. And they don't disappoint. You know, honestly, a lot of the ones that you see me unbox for are ones that I really stand behind. And like I said, I've always supported. So any that you see me do, 100%. This one is Nodis. And this is the South Wind. I got Dust Bunny. And you can see Nottis down there. Native American. Which is, um, it almost looks like, it, like I said, it's very like Native American, almost shamanist looking wind god. And actually, weirdly enough, it's, um, it's the goat harvest. The constellation of it is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, which is crazy. So it's kind of like the north, south, east winds, you know, like calling upon the winds like that. Almost kind of like the craft, you would think. Like Zephyrus, weirdly enough, the one I just showed y'all, the first one. 
Um, that one deals with Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And then the very first one deals with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And this last one, which is the North Wind, which is Bor Borealis. And he deals with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I just love the artwork on this one, period. Because it's so goth. So dark and mysterious. And I just think it just looks so macabre. Ah! Okay. You're not macabre. You're dark. You're evil. You're malevolent. You're malevolent dark lord. <laughs> he didn't like the macabre. He just wanted to be the dark emperor of everything. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. No falling out of the hand when I'm trying to describe you. I know I'm I'm being an insolent and, and I'm not describing you correctly, but give me a minute. I will find the words. It's my first time describing you on live computer. <laughs> I know I'm being a dork. Let's slide you back in your paper until I put you in my book of shadows. I do honor you, Mr. Northwind, because you actually bring my cold wind, and I like you. So, yes, I like you very much. You are my friend. Okay, so that's all that was in that bag, which is actually really cool. You get a spell. You get all the four winds. And it tells you all their elements that they kind of rule over um, their existing astrological places that they kind of work with. So it's really cool. Next, we have another bag, which me and my mom are laughing at because we said it looks like a cookie bag. <laughs> so you can tell where our mind is. Shalashkis! Cookies! <laughs> and actually, it's your herb um, yeah, it's bag. I was thinking of. Our coffee. Oh, yeah. Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> First one you get is your chicory. So you get chicory seeds. And they smell so good. It almost smells... Um, it actually looks like ground coffee, believe it or not. And I'm we have not gotten chicory yet. Um, other of the Witch's Moon people that had subscribed before me maybe have gotten this. Um, this is the first time for me, so I've never gotten chicory. Um, linden leaf, this is another first for me. I have not gotten linden leaf yet. And it's actually got a really pretty color to it. And you can almost smell it through the bag. So that's really cool. That's why I'm smelling it like that through the bag. So I don't want to have to keep opening it. Um, I do believe I actually have a huge bag of anise seeds. And a smaller bag, if my mind serves me correct. So, I'm not complaining. It's not bad to have extra ingredients and, you know, herbs when you're doing spells. So, because we have spells that call for a lot of things. And sometimes you just measure as what your heart fills or what guides you or pulls you or lures you. So, that was in that bag. Okay, and next is my paper, which I took off the little thingy, and is my personal personal oracle, um, because normally we get a tarot or an oracle, which is, is my oracle, and this is from A Place Beyond Time, and it reads, don't get caught up with everyday drama of life. Close your eyes, focus on your breath, and allow it to carry you into a peaceful space inside your heart. An eternal place beyond time, filled only with love. And I actually really like this because, you know, sometimes... Um, okay, Mom. Um, I get caught up with, you know, not just drama, but everyday emotions. And because I carry my heart on my sleeves and I tend to carry for a lot of people. And I get easily attached and I get easily hurt. I get hurt by other family members um far and wide and um i get hurt sometimes by other friends um not my very 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 close friends my very close friends don't hurt me but you know 
not to seem petty or get off beat. Um, it kind of hurt and I'll talk about it on another video, <laughs> uh, but not now, but yeah, that was my Oracle reading. Um, next thing I got is the breath of Enil and it's our sacred salt and it comes looking like that. You can see the bottom, which looks really cool and it smells really good. Um, Definitely, it has a lot of the herb that we got sent. I think it has a linden leaf. And I think, I know I have to see some flowers up in there. Um, I'm trying to see what else is in there. I'm trying to shake it. Because I can smell it. And sometimes I can pinpoint. And then I read to y'all so I can kind of. I smell the spearmint. I can definitely smell spearmint. Spearmint like right off. Because spearmint smells so freaking good. Especially how they do the spearmint in here. It smells yummy. Like almost so edible. Like how they do it in here. It's like a spearmint that you really want to eat. And I just lost the linden leaf. No. Um, I think there's some lemon in there. I'm not 100%, but I know there's definitely spearmint. I can hit the spearmint light. And the linden leaf is definitely in here. I can see it. Um, I don't know what kind of flower. Because you, you can see the little bulb like right there. I don't know what kind of flowers those are. It might be chamomile. Because chamomile ones have those little tiny cute little florets. So it might be chamomile. Don't quote me. <laughs> but we'll see at the end. Um, next thing we got. I do believe. Is our oil. Oil. Okay, this is the Four Winds Magical Anointing Oil. Listen. I like that because sometimes I can shake it up. And I can hear I can hear more than one of the quartz or the um, lemon rain quartz. But this one's got a big one. Oh, she's big. I wonder if I can see her down at the bottom. <laughs> Try to siphon it out so you can get the quartz. <laughs> They'd be like messaging me on the next video. Girl, you're doing the oil wrong. Behave yourself. I smell peppermint right away. <sighs> I, I lemon... Lemon. I'm trying to think what kind of lemon it is because we have lemon balm, lemon peel, lemongrass. Oh god, but it smells so good. Definitely peppermint, definitely lemon. <sighs> smells good though. This thing smells good. I think it has um, it has the the meringue, the um, what do you call it? Let me go back and look in my bag. It has the linden leaf in it because of the colors. Definitely has the linden leaf. Um. It in the bag. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has the linden leaf because I can see that because of the leaves in there. Um, I think it might have some of the chicory root. I could be wrong. Oh, there's... I think I see the... What is that?
I don't know if the stone's black or... I'm tripping out on the oil. <laughs> I need to quit. I'm going to be sitting here on the video for an hour playing with the oil. And y'all are be like, flames, wake up. This is the part of ADHD that I warn y'all about. I'm like, <laughs> They'd be like, but I thought ADHD people didn't get amused with ADHD and ADD. There's certain things that we can get amused with. Trust and believe. Especially because I've learned meditation. Oh, this smells like straight up spearmint. Oh. Okay, this is called Gentle Air Ritual Aura Spray. Oh my god, that smells like straight spearmint. And it smells like, oh, heaven. And I love the sticker. Because it actually makes you think of like a gentle air breeze. Like on a crisp autumn day. I guess why they use spearmint. Because like spearmint, cinnamon. Kind of like makes you think of autumn right away that's what you think of kind of like around that time is the crispness so yeah definitely i like that okay and we have a really cool satchel satchel not a sachet <sighs> i'm gonna make people laugh i swear to god Oh, it's our stone. Now, I'm going to make people understand. These are palm stones. There's a thing between stones and crystals. This is a stone. Whoa. <laughs> I swear, I'm a spring. Frickin' frackin' frickin' frick. Put a hole in a stick. Okay. This can go... In here temporarily. Okay. So this BC is not a crystal. Now everyone thinks every stone is a crystal. Correction. No. This is a stone. I'm not being a Nazi. <laughs> I'm not being mean. I'm being an educator. A lot of people get miscommunicating between quartz and crystals and different things and stones. Um, a tumble stone. Um different things of the sort, you can actually use this as a charger for your stones and your crystals, but don't think that everything you get in your box is a crystal. It's not. There is a difference between each one. And here, I'll go through here real quick and tell you exactly what this is. Because I've actually gotten tons of these stones, which I actually like them. It's a selenite palm stone. And it's used as a facilitator of cleansing and communication. It's also a chakra. It's, um, selenite can be placed on several chakra centers. So um, I just, you know, tell you just a little piece like that real quick until I go over everything. Um, so people can understand that. So I don't want people, you know, miscommunicating. You can actually get a selenite crystal. Absolutely. But this is a selenite stone. So don't let people miss, you know, commonly confuse you or give you the wrong information. Because there is a lot of people out there that get behind like a popular movement or a popular belief system or a popular trend um, just because, oh, I can make a quick buck this way or I can get a lot of people to follow me and then I can make money. Um, people have to be careful of that and be leery of that because you don't know exactly who you're sending your money to. You don't, you know, that's why I tell people be careful exactly and educate yourself because, <sighs> trust and believe i've had my headaches and i i pay attention a lot to the youtube stratosphere and it it can be quite a headache 
trust and believe. And I'm actually learning of who to avoid and I'm paying attention. And there's some people I followed that I've seen that are very toxic on here. And then there's some people that I follow now that I see that are good, positive people for me to follow, to endorse, and that I feel that they are positive people for me to say, hey, you're a good person to do YouTube videos that I feel that you're doing it for a genuine reason. Like me doing unboxings, I do it for fun, relaxing, to educate people so they can see that what boxes are good boxes. Um, I educate them on items that I'm getting and... I'm planning to do more spell work, which I haven't done yet, so I've been feeling good. Um, but I have done one spell on here so far. I'm planning to do more soon, um, which hopefully in the next coming months I will. I've been doing a lot of tarot card readings on here, um, which I'm going to get back to soon. Okay. So next, I'm not really going to unfold this much. I went ahead and did this because I know some candles do come with herbs. My candle this month did. So when my candles like this come like this, I do not unwrap them until it's time for me to use them. I heard a weird noise, sorry. <laughs> So I'm going to leave that candle wrapped until it's time for me to fully follow the ritual. And then I'll completely unsleeve the candle and I'll dress it. And then I'll bless it with ritual oil that I have my choice and then go from there. Um, and then my incense sticks. It's called Remembrance. And they actually smell really good. At first it came with like a clean smell. I actually did smell these. Because um, I've kind of been debating on burning incense right now. Because um, sometimes I just want to burn an incense. And then I kind of smell like a little bit of cinnamon on it. I don't know. It's just hard to describe what I smell on them. But they smell really good. I mean, I love this company's. And I love the Witch's Moon incense. And I want to try to get the Nine of Earth incense too. There's a lot of incense I'm addicted to. <laughs> I'm, I'm very picky when it comes to my incense. They have to have a very... They can't be overbearing because I can be highly allergic to certain incense. And the Witch's Moon actually was the first incense that I came along that did not want to give me a migraine and make me want to have an asthma attack. Is that saying something? And then the last item I do believe in my box is this really cool um, mask of the wind, the god of the wind. And I really like this. I think it's really rad. Um, I actually have the green man mask. So now I have a wind god mask. I actually like it when I get this. It's actually signed, especially for Witch Casket. Not Witch Casket. Ugh, I do Witch Casket. I'm sorry. The Witch's Moon. And it looks like... GB. Let me see who did the mask. Who did the mask? G. Ibis. He actually did our mask. That is actually pretty cool. The man that does a lot of our illustrations, he did our mask. So that's actually really nice. Um, he put a lot of illustration into this mask. He he actually carved. I mean, you can tell he put a lot of tender love and care into this. I mean, holding it, it has a lot of energy. You can tell that the wood... It's treated well, and it's something unique. It's a unique piece, and, you know, especially with the artist that works with the Witch's Moon, um, G. Ibis, he's a very gifted artist, and it's actually really cool to have this piece. So I'm actually really glad to have this mask. A lot of people may complain but to me, 
I feel that it's actually really cool to have something like that. Alrighty. So, this month, this box was called The Witch and the Wind. Now, it says, let me go ahead. We will, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in the box. Because y'all just seen everything. So, let me go ahead and put everything back in here. Put my candle. Put my incense. So, I'm going to go over certain things with y'all. It's got a lot of reading, so I might skim over certain things. And things that doesn't seem like it might be important, then I might be like, yeah. Okay. So, at last, the witch sat quietly among the deep forest trees. As she spoke to the soil and sang to the leaves, she began to wonder, combing through the list of the challenges she currently faces. She inhaled deeply, sighing on the circumstances ahead, breaking by the watchful winds, providing her with messages and insight that she may choose to inspire and empower her. In this intimate energies that waft within them, in this one-of-a-kind collection, we provide exclusive tools that were created to enhance the magic that flows along the ever-changing path ahead. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to you, your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items within this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use and for everybody else. I added that piece at the end. <laughs> Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. The handcrafted, the hand carved wind spirit plaque. There is much wisdom to be gained from working with this great and powerful air and wind. Great and powerful air and wind energies. The lessons learned are some that hold such deep and intimate meaning to our craft, practices, and perspectives, as well as holding a very sacred place within magical practices of old. You will find a bounty of Wonderful stories that span across the world, capturing the magic and messages that the wind carries upon its back. From the gods and goddesses that control and maintain the severity of the storms to the deep and spiritual divination practices used to understand the future and what may be coming upon the horizon. As the wind is very much associated with the elements of air, we work with these energies in the same context. Understanding that action, progress, clarity, and transformation play a large role in its practical uses and in bleh, practical uses and incorporation. Air and wind brings new ideas and most importantly facilitates movement during times of stagnant stagnation. In addition, the wind provides us with more opportunities to communicate with spirit, hoping to purvey messages and signs to those that are willing and in intuitive enough to listen. We have worked to capture the essence of these energies within this hand-carved wind spirit made carrying within it countless messages of experience and wisdom whispered to it by the washable winds. This very plaque has been in the process of being created for almost an entire 12 moon cycles, resonating deeply within our purest of intentions. In its masculine form, this wind spirit has been carved to bring moment, momentum to actions you may tend to put off or push away yet 
are the most necessary on your path to capture and achieve true manifestations. Allow this carving to remind you to stop and listen. Letting go of cl cl cluttered, I want to say clustered, when it was cluttered. <laughs> Um, cluttered inner conversations and perspectives. The knowledge that is found within the wind that flows around you carries very personal and specific messages. In these wonderfully transformative, transformative, trans, yeah, transformative moments. We tend to forget the role of others and the status quo pushed upon our psyche by those around us. Relax and focus on your breathing. Allow your body to become weightless and your movement to become effortless. As stated by many throughout time, the winds are changing. We must contemplate what this may mean to our personal path and allow ourselves to connect with these divine energies. We truly wish for this wind spirit to wait. We we truly wish for this wind spirit to guide and assist you on your very important journey ahead. We urge you to call upon the wind spirits you wish to connect with and ask questions, state your intentions, and say words of grateful testimony. May the winds push and pull, wind and we bestow and let carry on. G. Ibis. Um, I was wrong. I thought it was a wind god, but it was actually a wind spirit. Um, the sigil. It's an effortless movement sigil. The sigil was created for this very special collection and comes from our personal book of shadows. Copied from the carefully hand-painted original piece. The intention that resonates within this sigil is that of effortless movement. As an air sigil, the energies associated with the design represent the continuous ability to our the continuous ability to move through life with ease allowing challenges and disruptions to easily brush off our shoulders as we allow our anxieties and fears to dissipate we begin to gain a sense of clarity and calm providing us with new energy and vibrance. As a result, our communication becomes resonant and authentic to our true self. You will see a small dot placed at the top side of the sigil for reference. Incorporate this sigil into your practice in a way that feels appropriate to your needs. The Wind Correspondence Book of Shadow artwork, and that was a spell. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create and to create exclusive pieces of artwork. Oh, okay. That's the artworks, I think. Pieces of artwork to provide you with information regarding the north, east, south, and west winds. This artwork and information provided has been written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. These beautiful pieces provide reference for many of symbols, keepers, and gifts associated with the wind spirits. Or an animo, an ancient Greek mythology, place with your book of shadows for reference or display upon your altar. Hand rolled the watchful wind spell candle. We have hand rolled and charged this candle with the purpose of opening your environment to the influences of the watchful winds. We recommend, it, recommend burning this candle during times of deep intentional work where you may be seeking answers, support, and guidance in your immediate reality. We always recommend being comfortable with your space so that you may seek words clearly out loud enhancing your relevance and intention in other world realms. As the flame from the candle dances before you, take the time to listen intently, speak clearly, and act confidently. We have enhanced this candle with the oils of spearmint, 
peppermint, lavender, and lemon. We have also pressed dry lavender buds around this candle to allow calming and inviting energies into your space. The Watchful Winds Incantation Book of Shadows artwork. We have included this exclusive artwork within this box to accompany your Watchful Wind spell candle after using this incantation. We recommend placing within your Book of Shadows for future reference. Written by G. Ibis. Artwork by A.E. Alden. Okay, here we go. The Four Winds Magical Anointing Oil. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of bringing you closer to the energies of the Four Winds. This is a wonderful oil to anoint specific magical tools with such statues, statue coins. Magical tools with such as status. Yeah, status, coins, talismans, etc. Et as you anoint your magical tools, it is very important, eh, important, <laughs> important. For you to be speaking your intentions during the process. This gives purpose and permission to the energies you wish to create and call upon. Along with action. We have enhanced this magical oil with peppermint, lavender, and lemongrass oils. I called it. And have included dandelion leaf, linden leaf, and anise seed as well. Inside your oil, you will find a lemon rain quartz. Said to, said to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of Keeper of the Winds Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mix of this oil. Um, next is Breath of Enil Enlil 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 There we go. Enlil Sacred Salt Known to be the ancient Mesopotamian god of the wind of air, Enlil sits on the highest throne of mythology and ideology in the ancient Pantheon. Also called upon as the lord of the air, Enil, Enlil, or Enkil. Is it Enkil? Or it's Enlil, as it says here. Carries power and presence beyond belief. And is said to control the gentle or aggravated storms or breezes passing along the earthly terrain. As the ruler of the sky, the breath of Enlil is known to bring great blessings and fertility upon those permitted to receive it. We have created the sacred salt with the intentions of incorporating wind and air energies into your bath ritual. As you sit with the natural energies, practice breathe. Practice breath working rituals that may allow you to heighten your consciousness while you are free of anxiety, negative self talk, or worry. Allow yourself to resonate with feelings of accomplishment, purpose, and meaningful progress. Know that the path of action you choose to take will lead to victory. We, ooh, excuse me. We have enchanted the sacred salt with lavender and spearmint, as well as linden leaf, spearmint leaf, and chamomile herbs. We have also included a mixture of our call upon and prosper magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery and the making of this sacred salt. Okay, next is the gentle air ritual or aurora spray or aura spray. We are thrilled to be able to introduce our gentle air ritual aura spray within this collection. We have created this aura spray with the purpose of easing any concerns that you may perceive as a burden, potentially slowing any progress you wish to wish to achieve. We read <laughs> We recommend using this aura spray during times of stress or when you feel as if your responsibilities and tasks are too much to overcome. As you spray this elixir throughout your surroundings, visualize your physical being becoming weightless and your mind becoming clear. As you touch anything that surrounds you, 
Be gentle as if there is no need to place effort on tasks that do not need it. We have created this aura spray with the oils of lemon, spearmint, bergamot, and a mixture of our Ventimum magic oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. All right. The Selenite Palmstone. Used as a facilitator of cleansing and communication. Selenite is a wonderful partner to work with. While we commonly use this stone to attract spirits near, selenite can be placed on several chakra centers to cleanse and realign before starting any spiritual or magical practice. My eye won't quit twitching. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a miniature stroke. In addition, while seeking answers to challenging questions, Selenite is a wonderful tool to help open passages for your guides to send messages and signs. Elemental connection, air, water, chakra connection, sacral third eye. Remembrance ritual incense sticks. We have placed remembrance ritual incense sticks within this collection for you to burn on or near your altars or to incorporate, incorporate, within your rituals this wonderful fragrant incense was placed within this collection with the intention of allowing you to experience flashes of understanding during ritual or meditation as the smoke from the incense wafts throughout your surroundings visualize the physical space around you disappearing making space for your thoughts and intentions to walk throughout multiple spectrums the linden leaf Known for its per bleh, protective qualities. Linden leaf is most commonly seen growing in gardens as a measure of safety against psychic and physical attacks, as well as protection. Linden leaf is used during ritual to keep spirits present and alive while you work through your practices. We recommend placing linden leaf upon your altar during divination practices to maintain a source of communication. Gender, association, masculine, elemental connection, air, planetary connection, Jupiter. The chicory, the remover of obstacles. Or chicory is an obstacle favorite of ours and it and is a friendly companion for any practitioner. Carry this fragrant herb within a mojo bag or a satchel as you go on about your day to break down any barriers that may stand in your way. Gender association, masculine, elemental connection, air, planetary connection, sun, and these seeds. <clears throat> Use during meditation to maintain relaxation and a sense of calm. And these seeds have commonly been placed within satchels or incorporated into incense blends for ritual use. And these seeds have also been used to call upon spirits when seeking guidance and direction. Place upon your altar or use within the creation of elixirs to enhance the energy surrounding you. Gender association, masculine. Elemental connection, air. Planetary connection, Jupiter. My personal, blah, personal, <laughs> personal oracle reading. Um, they meditated and they selected a card from the spirit, spirit oracle guidance. Um, and the deck is by Tony Carmine Salerano to place inside my box, as stated on the box that this card originally came from. Um, the cards honor the female form and spirit as well as the energy of the masculine. This card and message that it holds was meant for me. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Let it resonate within me and speak to the pressing realities in my world. And then we always get within the witch's moon to get a parchment paper to either write our own spells or add it into like a book of shadows or whatever you want to do with it. And then as you perform your rituals, do not set expectations. And that's why I tell even my own students, because if you set expectations, you're always are setting up for a forerunner failure. Um, cast your intentions and be a pure heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. There is so much knowledge available to you. Take pleasure in knowing that you are in control of your future and the blessings that it holds. 
open up to receive these beautiful gifts we send to protect fearless energies as you waft along your path to enlightenment blessed be the witch's moon november 2020 so that's everything i got in the box um i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did please give me a like give me a subscribe give me a follow give me hit the bell button whatever y'all want to do just don't be mean <laughs> um i'm gonna do another video in a minute because i'm gonna show off what i got for my birthday um gifts sent to me gifts i bought um etc 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 and go on from there so if y'all will hold on and join me back in a minute i will be back in a minute to do another video and then touch on some stuff and go from there so remember please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified when i do go live or upload a video and I do have a buttload of content. So in the meantime, when I'm not uploading, if you would like to watch my older content until I do upload, please be sure to watch my old content. Give it a like and I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys. I'll see you in a few. Bye.